All right, what is going on? This is going to be spring training recap for my second weekend down in Clearwater. I got three days in this time. Um, everything you see right here, this is day one. Um, move the camera here a little bit. These two stacks here and here, that's day two. Try to give you an idea of, I can get the cord out here without screwing this stuff up. That'll give you an idea of the numbers. That baseball is also day two. And that stack there is from today. But obviously we're going to start from the beginning, which was an amazing day. Um, all three days were great. This could possibly be the best three days of spring training I have ever had. Um, numbers and quality wise. I mean, it was just in freaking insane um, how well I did. Uh, I'd, I've had people messaging me, hey, when are you doing your recap videos? When are you doing your recap videos? Um, so I came home. Left early. I didn't graph this afternoon for like guys leaving, I'm trying to get home to get this stuff done, spend some time with the fiance. Um, since she's not working tonight, she does. She works nights um, as a nurse. I think I've said that before. But anyway, let's go ahead and start this thing because these recap videos are going to take a while to upload because they're going to be long. Jordan knocked this out for me during the week for Sean Burnett. Appreciate that, Jordan. <clears throat> um, we will start with. Uh, shoot i had tried to do this video a second ago and i accidentally paused it and didn't realize it and got all the way done and now i have to redo this so i'm going to start with the twins cards just the cards for the twins it was twins and phillies on friday so we got mitch garver one of one steven gonzalez one of one one that i'm really happy to get because i have a, quite a few of this set signed this internationally top prospect set eddie rosario one of three on Hell the Elma, one of one. JB Shuck did two of two. That one, and then a 16 Charlotte. Danny Santana post game, one of one by the bus. Jake Reed, one of one. Ben Paulson, two of four. If you're going to go see the twins, he looks more like this as far as his beard goes than he does this. Just heads up. Uh, Daniel Palka did two of four I'm on the draft and then on Chattanooga team set. And then Robbie Grossman did two of three, I think. No, he had two of two. I only had two for him. Fresno team set and then a tops. And then it's three of the best ones um, card-wise. Nick Gordon, one of three. Jose Barrios, Southern League top prospect set, one of one. And... Southern League Top Prospect Set, Miguel Sano, 101. Super happy to get those two. I have quite a bit of this set signed. Would have been awesome if Buxton would have came and I got them all three done. I probably would have been beside myself. Um, but super happy about getting those two done um, for that set. So I don't have very many left. Um, and I can hopefully get that all done. So I'm going to start with uh, the Phillies minor leagues. The stack is not quite as thick Friday. They... Um, They've not done really joint workouts. They're like some of them go home, some of them stay. It's been kind of goofy, but anyway, I'm going to butcher this name. Jacob Waguspak, Waguspak, 101. Edgar Garcia, 101. Jose Taveras, I think this is one, two, three, four, five. That's six of six. This is one team set card. I'm not going to show all of them, but it's all five are heritage miners. I'm going to go through this. If some of this stuff is yours for you guys, Aiden, Myco, and TN autographs, I will tell you in any of the videos. A lot of this stuff that I got is 50-50 from the sportsgraphing.com website that I'm on. Um, so if, I, if you see something that looks like something you've sent me, but it may not be yours, um, that is why. So I will tell you guys if um, if it's one of y'all's. Bailey Falter, 5 of 5. Super nice guy. I think I get to keep that one. Yeah, happy about that. I love Team USA stuff. You guys know that. Well, I can't hold on to them. There's another one. That's a return, but that's fine. I get to keep the other one. And then a uh, draft. Kenny Kopolov, one on one. He's supposed to be pitching for Israel in the um, World Baseball Classic, but overheard him talking today. Apparently, he may not be playing. Um, something about being sick and not being able to travel overseas or something. I don't know. Luke Lefwich, 101. Harold Araz, 101. 
And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all the same card because I had a bunch of them sent to me. Adonis Medina, anybody who sees him, he was Williamsport last year, so I assume Lakewood. Um, he did sign. He, I mean, I guess it was not of the same card, so I guess I might have looked at him like I was crazy, liked at me like I was crazy too. But apparently, a couple other guys that got him to sign a couple, um, he just seemed kind of meh to the whole thing. So he may be a little bit tougher for some of you Lakewoods, uh, South Atlantic League graphers. Um, Aiden, I think you sent me one, and you did, Aiden. That one is yours. And every one of these cards is Cole Irvin. This guy was super, super nice. Um, I had nine. I had a bunch in my box or in my bag, my extras that I, people have sent me because I do 50 50 on them. People send you six of a guy, and you do that with a few people, and it adds up. So I had nine out, and Jordan asked how many I had in my bag, and I said probably at least 35, no exaggeration. Um, and, and I actually think it was more than that. So anyway, Jordan took two pages worth and got two pages worth. So this is 27 Cole Irvins. Um, not sure if anybody on here from YouTube, well, there you go. Mike, oh, that one is yours. I think that's the only one that I got from YouTube. Well, I got Mike, oh, I got you in here twice. So I'm assuming that was the 50, 50, but I have plenty. So I will send you both of those. Super, super nice guy. I really hope he uh, he makes it. I think he's from Oregon. Or, I don't know. No, he's from California. Maybe he played at Oregon. Yeah, played at Oregon. Um, really, really nice kid. So I might try and find some 8x10s of his um, when he pitched at Oregon and bring those in a couple weeks when I go back. I'll probably get a kick out of that. This is all Phillies who are in big league camp. Reese Hoskins, 3 of 6. Chrome, and then a Heritage. Ryan Hannigan is two per. Two tops cards. Scott Kingery, one, two, three, four, five, and six. He will do multiples like that if they're all different or if you have just a couple. Um, he will he will sign a couple if they're the same card. But, Mike, oh, that one is, yeah, that one's yours, Mike. Well, hold on, I'll show that again. That one is for you. And we got Andrew Knapp. Two of two. He was two of two. he was two per um, until today. He was two per. Mike O, the team set card is yours. And then Adam Morgan, this is two separate occasions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think he did four and three. Um, anyway, Aiden, that one is for you. These got to me just in time. Um, the, what you sent me, so there you go. Good timing on your part. Uh, another tops Clearwater set. Oh. Another Heritage, because like I say, he's no dupes, so I'll sign whatever. Just not a duper. And let's see what we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of eight. Jesmel Valentine. Three elites. Those are not, I don't think any of his ran or anybody on here. A pro debut. Uh, a regular Bowman. A Bowman paper. And then two um, Heritage. He was the first one I got Friday. And then we've got Drew Anderson, one of one. Um, anybody who's going to grab, I guess maybe he'll be double A this year. I don't know. So, like, Christian, if you're going to see this guy or you guys that do Redding, he signs, but he's not a big fan of signing. So you may have to work a little bit to get him. Just FYI, if you get frustrated with him, that's going to be why. But he, he'll sign. He's obviously not impossible. I got him. Um, but he just apparently is not a big person, um, big autograph person. Jay Thompson, that one kind of um, – you know, uh, it streaked a little bit, but it was how he was holding the Sharpie, too. And then a uh, pro debut. He's he's two per. Hector Neris, one of two. He's one per. Strict one per. I'll save you for last. Ricardo Pinto, one, two, three. This is six of nine. I've got him on two of these chromes. And then four um, 
Heritage Miners. And then my new favorite Philly, doing two of two, is Zach Eflin. Chris, why is he your new favorite Philly? I had on a Gator pullover and a Gator hat. It felt like it was 20 degrees outside. It was freezing. Uh, it was very cold with the wind. Anyway, um, I asked him if he had time to sign, and he said, I have time to sign anything for a Gator fan. And uh, it's like, all right, sold. And all I had was to, um, I actually joked and said I was going to go get a Zach Eflin jersey because he's a big Gator fan. He's from Orlando, so I guess he grew up a Gator fan. So I was really happy about that. It was really neat. Um, so that's all the cards. I have one thing left to show you for our uh, Friday. A big surprise that I did not expect to get inside. In addition to my Hall of Fame PC, this is my first Hall of Famer I've gotten in person um, at, like this graphing. So I was on cloud nine, uh, Paul was making fun of me and Jordan, they were both ragging me a little bit, but I don't really care. I was taking it cause I was super, super excited. I was like a kid on Christmas when I got this Paul Molitor on the sweet spot. He wouldn't inscribe anything. I don't care. A couple of people asked him, he didn't say anything. He just signed stuff, and handed it back, but apparently he's not the easiest guy to get. And he signed, he signed for quite a few people too. So. That, to me, was a great way to start the uh, three-day weekend down there. Th that's incredible. I'm loving this. Like, it's my first, um, well, that's not my first I Auto Hall of Famer IP. I've gotten Al line before. Um, but Paul Molitor, definitely super, super happy about this. Kind of To me, that's a big deal. That's a big home run type autograph to get. Um, and I was just saying, I was like, man, I've been getting a lot of numbers, you know, but I'm not, I haven't gotten that big autograph. Not that, you know, that big one that you're just like, oh, yeah, there you go. You got the big guy. To me, that was the one. I mean, I know the Twins aren't very good. Um, and a lot of people don't think he's the best manager in the world. But and he was one of the best best baseball players in history. So, stoked about adding Paul Molitor to the PC. So, that is it for day one. I think it came out to like 110, 111 um, autographs. Uh, I don't remember for sure. I still have to type up my recaps for Sports Graphics um, website, but that's just day one. I showed you guys day two stack. Day, this video is 12 minutes and 30 seconds long. Wait till you, day two is probably going to take me 20 minutes. Um, and I try to give you stories, not just to stories to entertain you and fill in time, but to kind of give you guys information so you guys can get some graphing habit information out of them. So uh, that's it for the first video for day one. Day two is coming right up right after this. You guys take care, and we'll see you in a few minutes.